Hello, my name is Hongfang Zhou, a PhD student from S Lab, Nanyang Technological University, supervised by Professor Liu Ziwei. Today, we are going to share our work, Garmin 4D, Garmin Reconstruction from Point Cloud Sequences. Nowadays, people can try clothes on their avatar and on themselves via VR or AR. They can enjoy watching superheroes wearing cool armors that are rendered using visual effects. These cool applications all rely on a crucial technique, garment reconstruction, which is what this work is about. To achieve a good and easy to use reconstruction, we think there are five important aspects to be considered. Firstly, there should be no ambiguity in terms of scales and reconstructed surfaces. Therefore, instead of using images as our input, we decide to tackle the problem using point clouds. Secondly, in order for the reconstructed garments to be retargeted, it should be able to be separated from the body. Thirdly, for the convenience of downstream tasks like retexturing, the topology of reconstructed garments should be interpretable, which means same type of garments should share a template mesh. Moreover, loose garments like skirts are of the same importance as tight garments, and we should take them into consideration. Lastly, for real-world application, the ability to reconstruct a sequential input and capture the dynamics of garments are also important. With these five aspects in mind, let's examine existing solutions. The template-free methods like PyFu take single image as input and therefore have ambiguity and lose dynamics. The representation of reconstruction is usually implicit function which makes it lack separability and interpretability. One advantage of template-free methods is that it is not bounded to any specific topology and therefore is capable of reconstructing any type of garments, including loose ones. The other type of methods that depends on simple D or its variants have good interpretability. However, they typically lack the ability to be separated from body or model loose garments. In order to remove the restrictions of previous methods and meet all five conditions, we propose Garment 4D. It takes point cloud sequences as input, which removes the ambiguity and brings the ability to model garment dynamics. We adopt a template-based design pattern that does not depend on any specific body models, which allows separable and interpretable loose garment reconstruction. Now, let's dive into our design of Garment 4D. Since it's a template-based method, a high-quality garment registration is crucial. For the source canonical garment meshes, which may have very different topologies, we first align them with the template mesh using an optimization-based registration method. Then, barycentric interpolation is performed to get the interpolation weights for each source vertex, which are used to remesh these source meshes into template mesh topology. Using these remeshed canonical garment meshes, a PCA decomposition is performed to characterize a space of garment shapes. After the registration, we are ready to reconstruct garments from point cloud inputs. We first perform a semantic segmentation to get the points of the garment of interest, which is used to predict the PCA coefficients of the observed garment, which will give us the canonical garment reconstruction. To further reconstruct post garments, we first use the interpolated LBS to generate post garment candidates. Then a GCA is used to predict displacements to further refine the candidates, which gives the final post garment reconstruction. Now let's look into the details of the reconstruction network. For the canonical garment estimation, we first use point net to parse the points of the garments of interest, which is the skirt here. Then the skirt points are processed by multiple downsampling and MLP to predict the PCA coefficients, which will give us the canonical skirt reconstruction. Next, we need to further reconstruct post skirts using the canonical skirt. First, using the body pose, we perform interpolated linear blend skinning to get a post skirt candidate. Then using the vertices of the skirt candidate as the anchors, we perform feature pooling for the GCEN to predict displacements. In order for the vertices to be aware of the shape of the observed garment, bulk query pooling is used on different levels of downsample skirt points, 
We call this process hierarchical garment feature pooling. Moreover, to better model correct interaction between garments and the human body, we use ball curie pooling with different radiuses on the body vertices, which we call hierarchical body surface encoding. For each vertex of the candidate skirt mesh, we gather the pooled features and use the GCN to predict displacement. In order to extract temporal information from point cloud sequences, a temporal transformer is integrated into the GCN. The feature pooling and displacement prediction are iterated multiple times to refine the candidate garments, which gives the final proposed garment reconstruction. To better understand the whole reconstruction process, we provide a step-by-step -step visualization. Canonical garment is first estimated from the input point cloud sequences. Then, interpolated RBS is performed to generate post-garment candidates. These candidates can be very different from the ground shoes and may in interpenetrate with human body. Finally, candidate garments are refined by iterative displacement prediction which can effectively capture garment dynamics and body-garment interaction. We perform experiments on two large-scale datasets, Close Ready and CAPE. Close Ready is a synthetic dataset, meaning we can evaluate our reconstruction results against the ground truth meshes with a vertex-to-vertex air-to-arrow. We outperform adapted baselines in both canonical garment reconstruction and post-garment reconstru reconstruction on all three garment types. To evaluate the smoothness of the reconstructed sequences, we also report the acceleration error of our method, which also surpasses the adapted baseline. CAPE is a real scan closed human dataset, which does not provide ground truth garments. Therefore, we directly inference the model trend with close ready on CAPE and report the one way chamfer distance. Compared with adaptive baseline, our method shows better performance. Extensive validation study demonstrates the effectiveness of the network design. Without the hierarchical body surface encoder, the pervertex air to arrow increased by 8 mm, which emphasizes the importance of considering body garment interaction. If we replace interpolated RBS with traditional RBS, the reconstruction error will increase by 7 mm, which shows the importance of proposing reasonable candidates. Without temporal transformer, the error to error as well as the acceleration error increase, which shows that the temporal transformer not only helps the smoothness of sequential reconstruction, but also improves the quality of single frame reconstruction. To further investigate the performance of Garmin 4D when facing imperfect point clouds, we randomly reconstruct point clouds inputs with different degrees of incompleteness. As shown in the chart, Decent reconstruction results can be obtained at up to 50% of incompleteness. Even though our method depends on semantic segmentation on input point clouds, we show that our method is robust to noisy semantic segmentation results by manually construct different segmentation accuracy. The number of nearest neighbors K of interpolated RBS can influence reconstruction quality and inference time. To get the best reconstruction results, we choose to set K to 256. The computational overhead is minor thanks to the GPU parallel implementation of the algorithm. Here we provide some qualitative reconstruction results. We can easily notice that the results of MGN suffer from severe artifacts on those garments like skirts. Also, it can be noticed that our garment 4D can capture better garment dynamics. More qualitative results can be obtained from the supplementary material. In conclusion, to the best of our knowledge, we are the first to explore gamma reconstruction from point cloud sequences. Garmin 4D provides a practical pipeline for separable, interpretable, and loose gamma reconstruction that elim eliminates ambiguity and captures close dynamics. Extensive experiments show that our method is robust to imperfect inputs and segmentation. Finally, Garmin 4D can generalize well to real capture data. Thank you for listening.